Hi, it's uh, Javin with Permaculture BC. Uh, we're here in the beautiful Cowichan Valley, uh, just outside of Duncan. It's a gorgeous day and we're here at uh, good friends who have made this beautiful greenhouse and cold storage. Basically we have a passive solar greenhouse that backs on to what's called light clay infill, which is wood chip, straw and clay in between chicken wire and then they're building out about, looks like six, seven inches of cob onto that. Uh, they've ran everything with electrical, so that way they have lights and they have some fans. They have water in here on the back side. We can see that they have cold storage here, built-in cold storage on the north side, and then they have a outdoor kitchen for processing. It's a really brilliant, simple design. But right here, uh, I'm gonna show you a really innovative biogas digester um, made by Keelan Gel. Uh, and it's just a brilliant, innovative system. So what we have is, think of this as, as more of an animal, right? So the animal starts here, the mouth is here, and this is a sinkerator. This is basically, we put organic matter in here, what happens is it comes down and comes to this grinder, essentially. And the organic matter is ground up, then it's processed through here to the food stock tank. Now the food stock tank, as you can see, um, has a gear wheel on the outside, but inside there's paddles and there's a timing mechanism that allows this to be uh, moved usually for one minute a day and mix everything up. From there, we go out this side. To where we have this outlet at the bottom, comes out and through a pretty incredible diaphragmatic pump, pumps through and pumps over to the digester. Now, a pump like this can pump up to 10 to 12 liters in one minute. Pretty simple, pretty incredible, and uh, easy to put together. So, this is the food stock. So, think of this as an animal. This is sort of the, the first stomach of, let's say, a ruminant, of a cow. And then what happens is it gets pumped over here. into the greenhouse and into the digester. So it comes all the way around, comes in at the bottom on this side, and this tank looks very much like that tank. There's a little flywheel and there's paddles inside, and again, it moves for a minute, and it usually moves for the last minute that the pump is, is operating. So we have that food stock tank turning for a minute, uh, two minutes, then we have the pump working for a minute. This overlaps by pumping by turning when the pump is pumping and then it goes for another minute itself and it turns. And what happens in here is that we have uh, methane production through anaerobic digestion. That's bacteria without air. So the bacteria creates all of this methane. The methane comes up, comes out the top of this tank and comes through this PVC pipe over to where the methane is being stored. What's very cool is on the outside here is we have a self-harvesting um, a self-harvesting mechanism that takes all of the rest of this material, moves it up this three inch pipe and comes all the way out here on the other side so that way you never have to clean this tank out, it's self-cleaning. And from there you've got all of this beautiful uh, slurry of organic matter which is high in nitrogen, it's high in minerals and from there you can use it in your compost or you can let it settle put it through a filtration system and then put it into your irrigation system so you have nutrient load that goes directly onto your garden. Incredible amount of nutrient, incredible amount of boom, bang for your buck, uh, bang for your poop, however it is you put it in here. But for the most part, it's just organic material. So again, the gas comes up here to this pipe here. We're gonna follow it along all the way over to the other side. Now, this gets a little bit technical and we've got a tree in the way, so we'll just work with it. So the gas comes all the way over here and comes into this, this little nipple. It comes down here, comes through here, and then comes through this filtration system that takes out uh, the hydrogen sulfide. It's a corrosive gas, it's not a gas we want in the system. It's uh, removable, as you can see, we've got these couplers so that way you can 
take that out and put that back in and there's a great way to see indication there. And then it comes up here, through here, into this hose and into essentially a gas tank, which is pretty interesting, it's pretty cool. The bottom is empty, or not empty, but it's cut off. This is filled with water and uh, sodium chloride. Calcium, cl cl calcium chloride. <laughs> So it's filled with calcium chloride, so that way this is a four season system, so this water never, ever, ever, ever freezes. So what's cool is that this is regulating the pressure because as much gas is in here, this starts to move up. And this is brilliant. We have this counterweight here. So the counterweight allows this to easily move up, but even more so, and this is, this is just pure genius, pure brilliance on the designer. And there'll be uh, information about him in the comment section. Totally brilliant. So once this gets super heavy, right? comes up, comes up, comes up, and this highly mechanized, highly industrial system pulls this switch down with this little piece of fishing line and turns on the compressor. Compressor then starts to pull the gas out on the other side here, we'll see again. So gas comes in the same way, but gas also comes out through this pipe. So this pipe starts to create a vacuum, comes down here, and this is absolutely brilliant. This is a moisture trap. Um, so the moisture starts to be taken out through this material, which is calcium chloride. Calcium chloride, more calcium. So this is great. This is a feedback loop. So that way, when the moisture comes into calcium chloride and it starts to dissolve, the calcium chloride actually drains back down here and goes into the, the barrel, thereby ensuring that you always have calcium chloride. And then there's a takeoff here. And from here we go to the compressor, and we go to a couple regulators, a pressure valve, and then we go into a tank just like you would in your barbecue, just a little propane tank. And from there you go into the outdoor kitchen and you have gas. So you think of this as an animal, we have the whole um, eating, we have the digesting, we have the second stomach, um, we have the gas that comes through, the gas that comes out, and then you're cooking on gas. Uh, if you're thinking of an animal, I'm sure you can figure out what you'd be cooking on there. But here we have this entire system that mimics nature. It's done beautifully, it's done brilliantly. It's done uh, for remarkably less than a high-scale bot commercial system and can be done in your backyard. Uh, just such a pleasure to see this, such a pleasure to work with uh, and talk with the, the designer and, and with these fine folks. Uh, so there you have it, biogas digestion on the home scale in your greenhouse. Uh, this has been Javin with Permaculture BC. Be fruitful and multiply, and enjoy the gas.